Ninja Kiwi, I hate having no upgrades. Please make me some. Bro, you're literally the best tier zero. You have nothing to complain about. Ninja Kiwi is the worst. Yeah, I know, right? He is. He didn't want to upgrade me either, but I took this into my own hands. Oh, Super Minds, how did you do that? Well, I had to figure everything out myself and make everything. And it was hard, but now I'm going to give it all to you for free. Oh, that's actually so easy for me. Oh, no, it's not going to be easy. You're still going to need to put in a ton of effort. Okay, then stop being so mysterious and just tell me what I got to do. Okay, okay, for the first one, you got to wait 10 hours as well as get the Engineer Paragon's soul because of his sentries and also get the Ice Monkey's soul. Wow, so I just got to wait here? Five minutes later. This is actually so boring. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's still boring. Many unbearable hours later. You let's go, the 10 hours passed. Yo, I found this really cool chamber that ups your power. My friend tested it and turned into the Supermines. Oh cool, where is it? Give me a minute, I'll bring it here. Yo, Scribblenaut, could you draw a time machine? Yeah, sure thing, here you go. Yo, here's the power machine. You just get in and press that big red button. Oh, thanks, Spike. I wonder what I turn into. Hey, hey, I just sent him to the dinosaur age. We can count him as dead. Yo, Ice Monkey, I think you like ice. So do you want to go to Antarctica? The ice is colder there. Oh my god, yes. I've always wanted to go there. When are we going? Right now. Oh, this actually looks so cool. Oh no, I forgot that Meg lives here. Oh, well, I guess it was meant to be this way. Yo, I got everything for the first upgrade. Please make it good. Okay, just close your eyes and I'll make it. Wow, I'm blue and yellow now, that's cool. Now you're the long-lasting spikes. Your spikes now last two rounds instead of one. And you also get a lot more damage as well as your spikes are now triangles. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me see my power. Wow, what, that's extremely good, but I still can't pop a BFB, so I need even more, what, for the next one? Well, for the next, you gotta get the Undead Tower, the Prince of Darkness' soul, as well as the Anti-Bloon, since it's a machine, so it's technically undead. Yo, Izob, can you do the Quantum Entanglement on the Prince of Darkness with this one dart monkey? Yeah, sure thing, now they're linked. Yo, Prince of Darkness, I got you this one dart monkey, so you can experiment making undead monkeys. That sounds very cursed in the quite literal definition, but yeah, I will just give me a minute. Five minutes later... <laughs> Hey, hey, quantum entanglement for the win. Yo, Auntie Bloon, do you want to go on a picnic together? Today's going to have great weather. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. When are we going? Right now, Brotha. Wait, what? Why is there thunder? You said there's going to be great weather. <laughs> Oops, yeah, sorry, I meant absolutely horrific weather. Yo, I did everything. Please tell me this upgrade is overpowered. <laughs> Yo, I look quite deadly now. Yeah, now you're the deadly spikes. You do a lot more damage and can easily pop a BFB if you have enough build-up time. Okay, that sounds cool. Let me see it in practicality. Wow, that's overpowered, but still not enough to pop the bad. What does the next one need? Well, for the last and most powerful upgrade, you need to go buy yourself an hourglass and also get the Big Ben's clock, as well as get the Perma Charge and Perma Bruise Souls. Yo, Geraldo, have you got an hourglass for sale? Yeah, of course I do. It costs $5. Okay, now, how the heck can I steal this big ah clock? That was way too easy. Yo, Permacharge, I heard that you can use the Moab Domination Boomerang with your bionic arm. Oh my god, really? Can I try that out? Yeah, here you go. A boomerang of his. Don't ask where I got it from. Okay, now in 3, 2, 1. Bro, how can you seriously not see that there was a bomb inside of the boomerang stupid naive monkeys? Yo, I got an idea on how to make your permabrew better. Oh my god, really? How tell me? Well, you gotta give me a brew of yours and I'll try making it better using a combination of some stuff. Okay, here you go. One hour later. Here I made it way better and I made you be able to drink it now. Oh my god, thank you so much. Let me try it out. Go, 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 go. I still don't understand how these monkeys can be so naive. Yo, I did everything. Please make the final upgrade epic. It's out of the power. Yo, this looks sick now. I'm big as heck. Yeah, now you're the perma spike. So your spikes last six rounds, not forever sorry, but now you do a lot more damage and you're overpowered. Okay, let's see if I can pop a bad... Let's go! Hello, I'm here to nerf you to the ground. Nah. Yo, Blunarius, you're trash. You don't have any special abilities. You're an L. Bro, you have half the health that I do. You are absolutely nothing. Yeah, but the thing is, you overlook the big fact that I have invincibility. And also that buffs are useless against me. Suck up to your weaknesses, fat green boy. Yo, Ninja Kiwi, Lich was bullying me. Please buff me so I could spit on him. Dude, you're a grown boss. You can't just come to me and start complaining whilst expecting me to fix stuff. Get your life in check, Blunarius. Dude, no one wants to help me gain more power. Hello, I'm Steve from Minecraft, and I can help you do exactly that. What in the hell are you doing? in balloons. Well, Tootie drank way too much one night and I ended up in here. Okay, how can I know that I can trust you? Dude, I have literally infinite health and infinite damage. No one, not even Goku, can beat me. Yes, I can beat you, you stupid Minecrafter. 
Okay, I'm in for it. How do we get me stronger then? You're gonna have three tiers and the final one is Super Saiyan Blunarius. But we gotta begin with the weakest one first. Okay, what do I do for it? Well, you gotta go and get me both the submarine and the buccaneer's souls. On it. Your submarine, do you wanna house a couple of billionaires in you and get sent into really deep waters? Definitely not on a real case. Oh yeah, sure that sounds awesome. You just gotta give me some oxygen tanks and we're getting to it. All right, thank you. We're gonna be getting on it. We should be back in two days if we're not call help. Hey, hey, the oxygen tanks were empty. Three days later. Oh, no, they're not back. Yeah, I'm most definitely not calling help, that's for sure. Your boat monkey, do you want to go on an adventure in the seas? We might find some treasure. Yeah, sure, that sounds sick. Let's go. You look, there's an island over there. <laughs> oh, Blunarius, what the hell did you eat? Oh, I can't control it. No, 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 I'm sinking. Bye, loser, I can just float away. Yo, Steve, I did what you asked me to now, what? Well, just wait like five minutes, I can make it happen. A few inches later. Oh, wow, I just became bigger. What does this mean? Well, now you have 80 million health instead of 40. And you also have two new abilities. Cool. What are the abilities? Well, when you're on the map, a rain comes on. And that rain makes the towers attack 10% slower. And the second one is that when you hit a skull, you make all towers on the map attack 50% slower for five seconds. I think I'm already more powerful than Lich, but let's get even more so I can rub it into his face more. For this one, you gotta bring me the Mad and VTSG's souls with the most powerful weapon in the game, Quincy's bow. On it, mate. Your camo balloon, can I get some camo paint? It's for the carnival. There is no carnival, but yeah, sure, it's gonna cost you $10. Okay, thank you, Mr. Camo Bloon. Dude, the elite defender is so annoying, he thinks that he's the best. Yeah, I know, right. And I've also heard from people that he unalived elite sniper because he said that his mom was fat. I heard that too, he must be in a lot of trouble. What the hell, where did you go? Dude, did you hear the new the VTSG and the mad mysteriously disappeared? Oh, it's not mysterious. I know why the FBI wanted to silence them, so they got them out of the picture. Where the hell did my bow go? The FBI stole it. Yo, Steve, I got everything that you wanted. Can you do the upgrade now? Yeah, just give me a minute. One minute, 37 seconds later. Why the hell is my eye red now? It just looks cooler that way. Now you have 240 million health, and you have a new ability that makes it so towers are able to do maximum one damage to you unless their damage is over 500. Yo, VTSG, you're trash. You can't ever beat me now. I have way too much health for you. I don't think you want to mess with me, mate. Steve, I need the last upgrade. VTSG is still able to beat me. Okay, for this one, you gotta do some more extreme stuff. You gotta go and beat Goku and also give me $500,000 since I need to pay my bills somehow. Okay, sure thing. Your camo balloon, I need the camo paint again. Okay, sure thing. Here you go. Bro, I'm not dumb. I have camo detection. Yo, FaZe, I know you can remove camo detection from monkeys. Can you do it on the Goku monkey too? Yeah, sure thing. That's gonna cost $15. Huh, why could I not splat him? What? Who said that? Okay, you know what? Just fat attack, fat attack. <gasps> wow, and people say that Goku is an all-powerful monkey that can't be killed. Wait, I still need the camo paint. Hmm, <coughs> yes, I love my business. I'm making $500,000 per hour, and I don't even have to work on it. Who in the hell sent $500,000 from my computer to their bank account? Meh, actually, I don't really care. I make that in an hour. Yo, Steve, I got everything you asked me for. I'm guessing I just wait again, right? Yep, like always. A lot of boring math later. Yo, I actually look sick. What different things do I do? Well, now you have two billion health, and you also karate punch any tower that tries to attack you, and you gain their powers as well. Do the powers stack? Of course they do. Let's go! Yo, VTSG, I have two billion health. Now you can't do anything to me. <laughs> You lich, you said I was trash, right? What in the hell? Why are you glowing? Well, I got a little bit of a fire upgrade, and now I have 2 billion health and make towers only do one damage to me, and also they are at 50% attack speed. Crap, I gotta get some upgrades. Yo, Prince of Darkness, I'm a new monkey, and I need some upgrades like yours. Oh yeah, I see you look like a very real monkey. I can give you that. What kind of upgrades like mine do you want? Well, if you could give me the best possible graveyard moabs and BFBs and zomgas possible, that'd be great. Oh yeah, and also the powers to make any monkey into a graveyard one, just in case. I don't know why you would need that last one as we don't kill monkeys, but yeah, sure, why not? But the only thing you need to bring me for that is a monkey, so I could unalive it to make a graveyard one, so I can give you the powers of that. You dart monkey, I'm your new friend, come with me. I have something to show you. Okay, this seems like a very legitimate friendship that's gonna last. I love being your friend. Yo, Prince of Darkness, I got him. You can begin the operation. Wait, what operation? Nothing, friend. Four to six weeks later. Yo, I got the graveyard monkeys done. They look very cursed, but they work. Okay, thank you, Prince of Darkness. I love the work you're doing for the new monkeys. <laughs> Just if he knew. Yo, Blunarius, do you see anything different in me? Nope, you're literally the same. That's true, I am literally the same on the outside, but now I can spawn zombie monkeys that can fight for me. That's nothing compared to my Goku Super Saiyan powers. 
Dude, I hate being so weak. The mad upgrade isn't enough for me. I want more. You're already powerful enough. You don't need more power. Yes, I do. I've already been in your position and I can help you get it. Who the hell are you? Well, I'm the killer queen. I used to be the super mines, but I got tired of being so weak and got stuff into my own hands. Okay, then what can you upgrade me into? Well, I can't tell you since most of the time I make it up along the way. Okay, but I want to know what we're going to be doing. Oh, there are going to be three upgrades and each one has a challenge and the challenges get harder and harder along the way. But at the same time, the upgrades get better and better. Okay, then what's the first challenge? For this one, you gotta go and get me the Sun Avatar soul and also get me $50,000. That's easy. Yo, Sun Avatar, you're technically fire since you're a sun, so would touching water do damage to you? Yeah, if I stay 10 or more seconds in it, I'm done for. Okay, do you want to go to a really cool waterfall I saw on Google Maps, not related to what we were talking about? Are you trying to kill me? No! Sounds like a promising response. Let's go. Dude, this waterfall looks really pretty. I love it. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, look over there. There's a raccoon. Where? Look down there, you might find it. Yo, McDonald's, do you have any job spots open? Yeah, we have a couple. They pay $5 per hour. God, this is gonna take long. 75 years later. Yo, I got the cash and the soul. What do we do now? Well, you just wait and it'll be done soon. Four to six weeks later. Yo, what the hell? I look sick, but why am I golden? Well, I took the Sun Avatar's attacks and gave them to you. Huh, what can I look at it? What, this is actually overpowered? Yeah, and it's just the first upgrade. Well, let's get to second one, then I wonder what the last one is like. Okay, for the second one, you gotta go and steal the Sun Temple's temple base with another $100,000, and also get one of the Engineer Paragon sentries, doesn't matter which. Yo, Sun Temple, look at me, I'm now like you. Yeah, you look sick this way, man. Yeah, you too, also. I wanted to ask if I could try your temple base, since I'm considering if I should buy one for myself. Oh yeah, 100%, man, just please hurry, I don't want to be left as a head. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Crap, he just stole from me, and I can't do anything about it. Yo, Geraldo, do you offer any job spots at $1,000 per hour? Yeah, of course, that's the minimum pay I give my employees. Eight semesters later. Wow, thank you, Mr. Pickle Man. Yo, Engineer Paragon, can I take a look at one of your sentries? They look cute as heck. Yeah, of course, this one is named Jake. Oh, cool, do you sell him? Well, to 99% of people, no. But to you, I will, because you look like a powerful man. He costs exactly $52,673. That's coincidentally how much I had left over from my job. Thank you, Engie Paragon, you're the best. Yo, Killer Queen, I got the stuff you asked for. Here you go. Okay, now just wait like 16 days, and please don't be paranoid. 16 paranoia-filled days later... Yeah, this look even cooler. I look legit golden as heck. Yeah, and what's different is that you shoot out attacks two times faster and also have an ability that's like the normal Hydra rocket pods, but with the sun attacks. Okay, this is very cool, but I still can't pop tier 5 elite Blunarius. I need even more power. Okay, for your third and final upgrade, you have to and steal the golden color off of the true sun. God, as well as get the potion of the rubber to gold and also kidnap level 20. Sun God Adora. 12 o'clock midnight. Go, 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 go. Yo, rubber to gold, can I take a look at your potion? It looks really shiny. Yeah, sure, here you go. Yo, Adora, do you want to go inside of this black bag? There's treasure inside. Dude, I'm not that dumb. I have a minigun, now get in. Okay, I'm getting in. Yo, I got everything you asked me for. Okay, now just wait a little bit and it'll be done. Many unbearable hours later. So now you're the mad son. You have 10 times the attack speed of your previous version and do 10,000 damage per shot. And you have a special ability that's like the mad ability, but with the sun rays and also from all four directions of you. Yo, Blunarius, you're absolute garbage. Ninja Kiwi, I hate having no balls. Please make me some. What? No, that was the worst way you could say that also you don't deserve them. <laughs> Hey, little dart monkey, why are you crying? Well, asterisk sob, asterisk ninja kiwi didn't want to give me balls. What, they didn't want to give you balls? What the heck do you mean? Well, I want to have a spike a pulp that can throw out balls so I can hurt the balloons in a cute way. Oh, you should have said that first. Yeah, I can help you gain that. Asterisk cute voice asterisk. Oh, really, Mista? Yeah, you just have to go out and get the materials, and I can construct the machine. Okay, sure thing. What materials do we need for the first one? Well, you gotta go get the Inferno Ring Soul, since I need his ball, and also the Spirit of the Forest one, too, since he's made out of wood. Yo, Mista Inferno. Ring, can you come with me? I want to show you how to wash your hands. Ah, fine. You're a child. I can't say no to that. So you gotta go to the sink, turn it on, wash them. And then what I do to dry them off is just shuttle them in the air so the water goes on everything around me. No! I'm made out of fire. I'm not supposed to have water on me. No. <gasps> Yo, Spirit of the Foulest, I've got some really cool stuff to show you in New York City. Do you want to come? Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get us to there, though. Dude, I'm a dart monkey. I have magical powers. Oh, God, this air. Oh, God, the pollution. Oh, no, my sensitive nature lungs aren't able to handle it. <gasps> Bruh, I hired a hitman, and this bozo died by himself. Yo, I did everything. What do we do now? Well, you just close your eyes, and I will balify you. 
Yo, what, I look sick. I have balls, finally. Please don't say that last sentence ever again, but yeah, now you shoot out balls and you're pretty powerful. Bro, what, I can't even pop some ceramics. That's trash. Yeah, you're just a tier three. We can get you up to a tier five if you want. Oh my god, yes, yes, please. What's for the tier four? Well, you gotta go get the Pirate Lord's soul, since his ball shots are even more powerful and also steal the bomb shooter. He doesn't have a soul, so you can't steal that. Yo, Pirate Lord, can I take a look at your balls? What in the heck did you just say? Yeah, the cannon shots. They look really cool. Oh, those balls. You should have said that first. Yeah, what else did you think of? Nothing. Here you go. You can take a look at them. Easiest kill in my entire Fortnite career. Yo, bomb shooter, could I steal you, please? What, you don't just ask somebody if you could steal them, you just take the bad and do the deed. Oh, okay. Yo, I did everything that you asked for. Okay, now you can just close your eyes and I'll begin the operation. Wow, now my balls are made out of steel and are even bigger. Please remove the word balls from your vocabulary. Yes, they're bigger now and you do a lot more damage. Wow, I can now pop ceramics, that's very powerful. Well, yeah, but take a look at your Moab damage. Oh, wow, never mind, that's trash. How can I get even stronger? Well, for the lad, I hear you need to take the triple shot soul as well as the super maelstroms, so I can make you ultra. Yo, triple shot, do you want to have a shooting competition? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds fun. When are we starting? Now. Oh, no, one of my shots hit him in the head. Whatever shall we do? You super maelstrom, you look really cool and you're also a machine, but what's able to kill a machine since I want to kill, uh, Professor Evil? Yeah, he's a machine. I don't think Professor Evil is a machine, but to kill a machine, what you gotta do is throw a green leaf on their head and do a Fortnite dance without the dance. It wouldn't work. Yo, Oben, can I get one leaf? Yeah, that's gonna cost you $500. Bruh, that's overpriced, but I don't want to go searching for leaves, so here you go. Yo, I did everything. I'm excited to become a tier 5. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know that it's gonna hurt a little bit this time. Huh, that didn't hurt at all. Okay, now you're the Ultra Juggernaut, and your balls split into multiple Juggernaut balls after they've already hit a target. Let me see my power. Ninja Kiwi. I hate being the only tower like this. I want the other ones to have a minigun too. What? No, you're supposed to be special. The others are staying like they are. But I don't like being special. Yo, I can teach you how to make them like you. What? You're just a dart monkey you can't know? In BTD1, I was the only one that was a monkey, and I turned the others into monkeys too. Okay, then that sounds trustworthy. How can we begin this? Well, to turn them all, you gotta go and take one projectile from each of your tier 5s. Oh, that's very easy. You best can I take one of your missiles since they look like gum and are really cool? Yes, just please. Please don't eat them, they're not gum. You mad, can I take one of your shots? They look really cool, and also green is my favorite color. Yeah, sure thing, just please don't explode them at some monkey, otherwise they'd charge me. Yo, Ray of Doom, can I take, uh, how is this gonna work? Can you take what? Well, can I take your mighty Ray? What, no, that thing is so expensive to me, I'd never just give it out like that. Now you will use stupid Dr. Doofenshmirtz clone. Five minutes later. Yo, I got everything that you asked for. Okay, now you give you the stuff to me and I'll go do the magic. Four to six days later. What, nothing happened to me? Yeah, of course, to you it won't, but to every other tower, including me, it did. Meanwhile... Wait, why am I constantly shooting out Boomerang and where are my upgrades? Yeah, the game got remade, so every tower is now a dartling gunner, and they also wiped out our upgrades, so we gotta make completely new ones. Br what? How in the heck do I make myself upgrades? I see that you're a little lost in this new upgrade, Boomerang. Do you want some help? Yes, of course, please. How can I get upgrades? Well, I know how to make upgrades, but I don't have the materials for them, so it's gonna be three upgrades, and for each, you gotta bring me materials. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. What do I gotta bring you for the first one? Well, for the first, you gotta get me the bomb shooter and bring him here, since he doesn't have a soul, as well as the Inferno Ring soul, and I'll make it. Wait, I don't think the bomb shooter will have anything against if I just yoink him. Yo, Inferno Ring, do you have anything that's toxic to you, but not to me? Yeah, the rainwater, it's able to kill me, but not you lucky monkeys. Okay, thanks. Wait, why do you need that information? Okay, I guess I just gotta wait for it to rain. Let's go, I got rain now. I'm just gonna pour it on top of the Inferno Ring. Haha, <laughs> stupid Inferno Ring. Yo, I did everything you asked for. How do I get upgraded? Well, you just close your eyes and I'll do the surgery. Wow, I'm a fiery boy now. Yeah, you're the fire boomerang gunner now. Your attacks leave a fire dot on the balloons as well as they explode on impact, and it's a big explosion. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Can I pop a BFB? Well, yeah, barely you can, but on a zoo MG you have no chance. Okay, that's not enough for me. What's for the next upgrade? Well, for the second one, you gotta get me the elite defender soul, as well as pop vortex, as he's the fastest boss. Yo, cripple Moab, do you accept hitman requests? Yeah, but it depends who it's on. Well, that elite defender guy has been quite 
mean recently, and I want to unalive him. What? No, I'd never do that on such a proud member of the balloon-popping community. He's one of the best. He teaches little dart monkeys how to fight against the balloons. He also said that your mom is fat. Okay, never mind. I'm in. It's going to cost you $500. Can I get a McFluffy with... Wait, no, that's not why I was here. How much time is it going to take me to make $1.500 here? Well, just because you look cute, it's going to take like a minute and something. One minute, 37 seconds later. Yo, I got the cash. What do we do now? Oh, I don't need it. I already unalived him out of anger. Oh, wait, he said that your mom was skinny, not fat. How can you confuse those two? Wait, I can't pop Vortex all by myself. Yo, engineer, can you help me with your boost so I can beat Vortex? Yeah, sure thing, but I don't work for free, so I just need an ice cream bar as payment. Yo, God, could I get an ice cream bar? Yeah, I wasn't gonna eat it anyway. It was just staying in my freezer. Yo, here you go, the ice cream bar, completely fresh out of the TSG's freezer. Thanks, now we can get on to buffing you. Five hours later. Okay, now you have an entire 10x of my buff stack. Thanks, Engie. Yo, Vortex, you're so stupid that you're a Muppet. What the heck do you want? You can't pop me by yourself. Oh, why are you so sure? <coughs> Yo, I did everything. What am I gonna get now? You're gonna see after the transformation, but it's gonna be epic. Yo, what, I look sick now. Yeah, now you have a permanent beam of dartling boomer attacks that stacks with the previous upgrade, and you also have an ability to make the shooting even faster. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can now pop a bad, but I want to be able to pop elite Blunarius. Okay, then I can do that for the next one. You gotta go get the Ultra Juggernaut Soul, because he has balls, and also the Absolute Zero, since he makes a perfect circle around him. Yo, Ultra Jug, do you want to see my new powers? Oh yeah, this update completely messed me up. Yeah, same here, Broski. So here's my new attack. <laughs> Oh no, I accidentally hit Ultra Juggernaut. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. I am Mr. Policeman and you're under arrest. Put your hands in the air. No eat sand. Yo, absolute zero. You're an ice monkey, so some amount of heat should be able to unalive you, right? Well, yeah, it's 50 degrees Celsius, so about as hot as the Wizard Lord Phoenix. Wait, why would he need that information? You Wizard Lord Phoenix, could I get some of your lava? Yeah, sure, here you go, a bottle of it. It's free since it's literally just my bird's cough. That's weird, but okay, thanks. Dude, I heard the Discord join sound. Where are you? Haha, <laughs> stupid ice monkey really thought I just needed the info for education. Yo, I got and did everything what now? Well, now I'm gonna make you into the most powerful boomerang dartling the world has ever seen. When I met you in the summer. Yo, what? I'm just the glaive lord now. Well, yeah, but actually, no, you have three rotating glaives just like him, but they shoot out dartling boomerangs that have all the things in the before upgrades, and they also have extra rotating glaives on them. Just like the recursive cluster, the rotating glaives on the boomerang shoot out even more boomerangs. But just once. Wow, that's a long description. Let me see how I am against Blunarius. Yo, Blunarius, what's up? Puff the Glaive Lord? Bro, you're the only tower that's left in the D tier, you're trash. Oh, well, I got a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> What your favorite tower says about you, you only play on the easy maps. You know how to micro and you do it well. You're a noob. You play bosses. You don't know anything about the meta. You're a good person. You only use it for the paragon. You only use it in later boss tiers. You can't bother buying actual defenses. You like spamming abilities. You only need a recursive. You're a pro player. You know the new meta. You're sad because no top cross path. You're playing a boss. You're just dumb. It's around 95. You think that's still good. You're playing bosses again. This time it's around 99. Well, why are you playing so many bosses. You wanna buff your snipers. You love fast attack speed. You need your juice cooldown. You love this tower. This is the only strategy you use. You're only using it for the bolt paragon. You love the old penis that it has. You are shmoney to me. Just a ton, a ton of projectile. You either love or hate this ability. You watch ISAB. You're an old school balloons player. You love bugs. You love underdogs. You like one-shotting ceramic. You know how to micro. You're an actual pro player. You're an average job. You're less of an average Joe. You're very rare. You think it's a good tower. You're a chimps player. You can do the maths for the VTSG. You have a lot of money. You wanna have league protection. You like the shinobi shot. You're a late game player. You don't know what you're doing. You're absolutely every single player. You're absolutely nobody. You've realized how overpowered this tower is. You're a weird player. You're the balloon. You love old chimp strategies. You like being shmoney to me. You realize that the ability is very overpowered late game. Game. You don't have monkey farmers. You have a lot of cash and a brain. You don't like micro. You think it's still overpowered. You're using primary towers, at least I hope you are. You're going late game. You know how to farm. You want the old name of it back. You're god boosting something. You like sucking. You like big fish that eat big blue and yummy. You don't know how to pronounce its name, or is that just me? You're an elite level chimp slayer that has all black borders and never goes outside. Yo, Quincy, don't you think you miss a lot? Hello, I am Super Monkey. I'm here to give the super power. 
flowers. I think I need that. Okay, let me inject the needle into your butt. Wait, what? A few moments later. Why am I a robot? Well, and I have aim so good that you can hit your any bloom. Bye-bye. Now I'm not gonna be meme. Let's go. Meanwhile. Do you want superpowers or anything? Yes, sure. Give me ultra fire. That sounds cool. I'm gonna do something completely different. What is that? Well, you can now fly with fire. What? How do I stop? Meanwhile, yo, Gerald, oh, here you go, a new shop, but I like my current shop. Okay, I guess what's new in it though? Well, you can sell a tank. Where exactly did you get that from? Well, Churchill fell asleep and I decided to steal a little bit. What the hell happened to my tank? 